you can use Scratch to tell a story, create a conversation, switch scenes, or do whatever else you can imagine. To get started, let's pick a background. I'll go with the witch house. Now let's pick a sprite. I'll pick the wizard. Let's have our character say something. I'll have my character say, welcome to magic school. I'd like to add another character, so I'll choose another sprite. This time, I'll pick the elf. It looks like the elf isn't facing the wizard, so I'll change the way they're looking. Let's go to the costume tab and choose flip horizontal, so the costume is now flipped to face the wizard. Let's make a conversation. I'll add a say block to the elf sprite. I'll make this character say, I'm going on a quest. Let's click the green flag to see what happens. They both speak at the same time, so let's go ahead and add a wait block before the elf speaks. I'll make this two seconds. Let's have the characters change scenes. I'll add another background. This time I'll choose mountain. I'll reselect the elf sprite and go back to the coding area. Let's have the characters start at the witch house. Wait four seconds, which is how long the conversation is, and then switch to the mountain backdrop. Finally, what if we don't want the wizard to be in the mountain scene? Let's go back to the wizard sprite and add a when backdrop switches to block. I'll set it to mountain and make the wizard hide. Let's try it out. Looks good. Now let's replay the project. The wizard doesn't show up at all. That's because we've hidden it. So what we'll need to do is add a show block at the top of the script so that whenever someone replays the project, the wizard will show first. Click the green arrow to see this code again and explore what else you might add to your story.